Hey guys, I'm Tiana Shell and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I recently did this hairstyle and it turned out so well that I went, washed my hair out, blew it out again to film a YouTube video for it because I just had to, like I had no other choice. For this hairstyle, I will be using the large green flexi rods. I also went ahead and applied some Olaplex bonding oil on my hair before going over it with the Design Essentials African Shibi Curl Mousse. I'm gonna do about three flexi rods on each section. So in total, I'll be using 12 giant rods. Whenever I do a rod set, whether it's with flexi rods or perm rods, I love corkscrew curls. So I'll start at the base of my hair and I like to wrap it down. But the issue is my ends don't always like to stay, especially if I just got a fresh trim, which I did. Even when I've applied product, once I roll it down to the end, it pops out. I could roll my hair this way where you start at the ends and then you just go up, but I like how my hair turns out more when I start at my roots. First thing I'm gonna do is just make sure my hair is all nice and ready to go and detangled. I'm taking a little pump of this mousse and applying it all over my hair. Don't need to use a lot just because I don't want this to take forever to dry. My hair can take a long time to dry. Start near my roots and I wrap it around and I like to twist it as I'm wrapping it around the rod because I love corkscrew curls. What I'm doing is I'm trying to wrap the hair as close together as possible rather than having it spread so far apart because with these big rods, when I wrap it with it having too much space in between it, it doesn't hold its curl as long, which means the style doesn't last as long. Like I get beautiful waves and everything, but for the longevity of the style, I would like for it to last more than two days. And with that being said, since I want it to last more than two days, I gotta make sure the ends are right. I figured out when I first tried this style is that I can take small scrunchies and loosely wrap it around the end of the rod where I like finish wrapping my ends. And I just put the scrunchie over my ends to hold it in place. It doesn't have to be tightly wrapped around it. It just needs to be wrapped around it enough so that it doesn't come apart. I'm just going to secure the rod like I usually do. Now it's fully secure without me worrying about it coming loose or my ends being straight. When I first started doing flexi rods, I would wrap it so tight thinking that, oh, that'll hold the ends in place. When it really doesn't, it just ends up pulling out my scalp and giving me a headache. With this, you know, it can still be comfortable. And you may have seen people add a scrunchie to the end of the rod. I'm not sure, I don't really know. I do know that nothing is really new and everything has been done before. This is just new to me. Now that I am able to secure the ends and not have to continue doing it over and over again, it makes this process so much easier. I'll catch what I'm doing. Before I wrap the scrunchie around, I hold my hair in place so it doesn't go anywhere. Now I'm about to do something that I don't usually do because I'm a middle part girl through and through, but I'm trying to dabble into a little versatility. So I saw Yana do this. You may know her as Goldie Naps, but she also makes two side parts 
on both sides of her head that way if she wants to do a little switcheroo and have some versatility she can so i'm gonna do that it's all right it'll do i don't have enough scrunchies which i need to get some more so i'm just going to use ponytail holders for certain sections although i prefer scrunchies last time i put too much product on this section and it took a long time to dry and it didn't fully dry but my hair is so thick you couldn't tell that this was there it was nothing going on here but fluff but we're not gonna do that this time I would only add the scrunchies on large rods. I wouldn't do this with small rods. I can see there being a risk of you like snagging your hair. I think I have like three ponytail holders in, not by choice. Use something like this or a satin scrunchie rather than a ponytail holder. Time for the most important part, the drying process. It doesn't matter how pretty you installed your rods, if you don't allow them to dry all the way, it was a waste. If you prefer to air dry, that is something that you can do. You can do whatever you want with your hair. For me personally, I do see a difference between allowing my hair to air dry versus sitting under a hooded dryer. When I sit under a hooded dryer, the results turn out a lot better for me than allowing my hair to air dry. I don't know why. But that's just how it is. So I'm gonna sit under my dryer for a couple of hours and I'll be back. I was under the dryer for a ridiculously long amount of time. So if my hair is still not dry at this point, Dry. I'm still skeptical. I won't know for sure until I get to certain parts of my head. This one is like Literally everything is dry except for this right here. It's like a little bit damp. <sighs> the fact that I have been under the dryer for nearly five hours and not all of my hair is dry makes no sense to me. I put my handheld dryer to these for literally just a minute because I sat under that dryer for five hours burning up if it's not dry yet, it is what it is. If it were the case that this, this style just doesn't do exactly what it did the first time, it's just gonna have to be okay because I'm not doing that. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fine. Last time, this one, this side didn't dry fully. Now it was this one that didn't dry fully, but oh well. Could separate my curls a little bit more but I'm not gonna do that because I like for this rod set to actually last but what I am going to do is fluff the roots to give it just a little bit more volume I'm just lightly picking at the roots 
Also, I'm gonna flip my hair over so I can get the back, that middle. Hold on. Wait. Let me see. If I want it on this side or the other side. I'm just using some Kiss Edge Fixer to do my edges right about here. When you live in a super humid area, you can't really dictate how long stretch styles are gonna last. It's gonna last as long as it lasts, and that's pretty much all I can do about it, but I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. I do think using these helped me out so much with keeping the rod secure. That is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.